Uh, we rushed the ball pretty consistently. And when we had to get some big plays, uh, Steven had a couple. And uh, obviously, Kendall had a couple. John had a handful. Uh, so when we needed it, uh, we got it. But at the end of the day, our defense won a game for us. And our defense got uh, put out there a couple of times, third and fourth quarter, uh, when uh, the game was very much in balance, needed a stop. Uh, you know, the odd thing in the locker room at halftime, uh, we had given up 14 points. Um, Hamilton got beat deep. Um, Pettis got beat deep. I singled it out in the locker room. And I said, that's all I got, guys. They had uh, beat us deep twice. That's their 14 points. Those two guys responded in the second half. I couldn't be happier uh, for a player than I am for Daryl Hamilton right now and the way that he bounced back and, and competed. And then, uh, you know, there at the end, um, you know, I, I thought we had decent control of the clock. Uh, we certainly wanted them to use their timeouts. Kendall was running hard. We got a first down or two. Uh, you know, going forward on fourth down to me was somewhat of a no-brainer. I mean, I knew I'd take 40 seconds off the clock. Could have kicked the field goal and gone up seven. Either way, I mean, if they go down and score a touchdown uh, at their home field, the momentum would swing so much back in their favor that it would have been tough to win in overtime, per se. Uh, so we, we went for it on fourth down, thinking if we didn't get it, they had 99 and a half to go uh, with a running clock and no timeouts. But our defense stepped up real big. Uh, couldn't be prouder of these kids. Showed a lot of courage uh, coming up here and, and, and winning uh, the game today. Yeah, Coach Beelan was preaching it all week. We kind of let up, I think we let up 250 yards rushing last week. So that was our main focus this week, and we practiced it all, all through the week. And that was that, that's what he was preaching today at pregame. So we just had to come out and respond. You know, I, I talk all the time about trying to uh, get the momentum, you know, find a way to steal the momentum in a game, ride the momentum when you got it. Uh, we talk a lot about the uh, psychological aspect of winning and winning on the road. Uh, you know, so our guys are kind of prepped for those things. I said in the locker room, I said, let's take a lead and then let's extend it. And we didn't, we took the lead, we just couldn't quite extend it until the very end there. But, you know, there were, we were thinking like that. And that allows you to be opportunistic. We certainly were today, uh, in particular with Daryl making those two picks. Can you have a word about the offensive? Well, uh, Coach McCorkle is doing a real good job, um, and uh, it's a good group. I mean, it's a big group. You know, we got size. We got legitimate size. They're young but experienced. You know, it's kind of, um, you know, unusual to be able to say that. And, and they're all kind of coming into their own in their own way. Uh, so, you know, confidence is a, you know, unique element in sport, you know, and, you know, they're playing with some confidence right now. And, uh, you know, the physicality is something that, you know, we preach all the time. I mean, um, and maybe, I don't know, maybe too much, but uh, I just think that's got to be the backbone of your football team. You got to be a physically um, tough physical, uh, football team. Uh, you got to be able to win a line of scrimmage. Uh, you got to pride yourself in it, you know, and uh, we certainly we did it today, you know, and I was really happy about that. I, I talked to Coach uh, Talley before the game, and I said, Coach, I mean, after watching your main game, you guys really, really, you know, really looked good a week ago. They went up there and won 35-14. Um, so I knew we'd have our hands full today, uh, and both teams played hard. Uh, we just were able to take advantage, be a little more opportunistic tonight, and to come out of here with a road victory.